Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank. Today I'm going to be playing some more Inscription. I think I'm on my second round here, so let's jump in. Fix the card in the hole. Okay, exciting times. So we have two paths. We can head to this water droplet card thing or some sort of mystery card. Let's go to this mystery. Okay, what do we get? The Fervid Mantis, it's prying claws, strike both to the left and right. That's an insanity. Revile Skunk, its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. Ah, the Elusive Otter, it smirches itself during my turn. Hmm. Waterborne, a card bearing a sigil smirch itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, the opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Interesting. I do kind of like that, but I think that I'll go with Mantis since it attacks in two directions. That sounds useful. Um, how many items do we have back here? Looks like I have at least bones and the um, weight thing. Looks like I can cannot walk already right now. I think I can. Okay. Just wanted to take a quick look around, but I don't think there's anything different right now, so we'll get back in it. Okay. How about items? It's bleeding it yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. Black Goat Bottle. To the user, a Black Goat is created in your hand. Black Goat is defined as zero power, one health, a worthy sacrifice. Um, that sounds useful. I mean, compared to other things I have, it sounds like the best draw. Okay, just like a mini boss or something. Greetings. Oh, this would be a perfect place to play that Praying Manus. something. What do we want to do? Well, it definitely doesn't make it easy. Let's see. I suppose getting a squirrel down might be a start. And could use a bottle to get some bones and play a stink bug, but it's not going to be in the right lane, so I guess we'll just get going. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Oh, we have me. Many lives. Card bearing sigil of sacrifice that does not perish. Okay. Coyote and an adder. Perhaps playing it here in a coyote lane would be a good idea. Oh. Yep. There's always that issue. <laughs> Creature opposing a card and bearing sigil loses one power. I wonder if that would work on the adder. Slow it down. Maybe I will call for help with some bones. We'll do it in this lane and see what happens. Shall we? Says the stink bug. Okay. And a little work rant could go there. Value representative sigil will be equal to the number of ants the owner has on their side. Um, I guess it could go after the wolf or coyote. It only has one health, too. Okay. Let's start with this. That bullfrog's going to be a problem in the next turn. Okay. So we'll go with this route. Ah, the skink. Don't think that it's worth playing at the moment. Loose tail. When a card bearing a sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing a sigil moves to the right. Hmm. 
I kind of think I want to have to keep what I've got here. Maybe after the bullfrog takes out my stump, I can place down my uh, name card here. Okay, that's rough. Ooh boy, I'm not sure how we're going to take these out. This could be a death sequence for me. I might need to use another power up. Get some blood going. I think that I'll have enough blood to put down two if I use the black goat. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, but it requires a sacrifice itself to go down. Well, that's tricky. Adder is just going to be a problem anyways. I think this only works to make sure opposing a card brain so you'll loses one power. Okay. I think this must be a two powered adder and that's why it didn't there still has some attack power going. Well ooh. Perhaps I should play the bullfrog to take something out. That rattler is going to hit me so hard. Let's do black goat. Whatever. Um, I'll put it in the way of the rattler, and I think that I have to keep it there. Let's double check. Count of three blood rather than one blood when sacrificed. Okay, so I still have to sacrifice it. I can't get rid of that rattler though. It's going to be the problem. Let's try playing this. I'm pretty sure that I won't get the attack, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Maybe it will take it down. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Okay, it did take it. I was a little bit worried that it wouldn't. Now things are split though, so I need to get something else going. Maybe it's squirrel time. Squirrel time! Getting rid of the adder immediately. Perhaps that'd be my best bet. Okay, and I don't think I have enough blood, so I just have to Kind of ring the bell, I think. I think I may outweigh it with my name card over there. Like I might have enough power to take them out. I need two sacrifices to... I don't know, I just wanted to get that bullfrog on the screen, so let's do it. There we go. I think this is a win. Surely. Good. Okay. Mantis. I wonder if that shows a little indicators because I've already got one. River Otter. The Regal Moose. The creatures of the wild make way for it. Let's see, what is this? Hefty. At the end of the owner's turn, card bearing a sigil will move in the direction it's grabbed in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Interesting. Well, that sounds like a powerful card, so I think I want to take it. River Otter sounds good too, but that sounds possibly even a bit better. Okay, well, I'll use two items. If you deem necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. Well, I think I'll do that. 
a powerful item, turn this, and I'll skip my next turn. Uh, yeah. This must sound good. I wonder if those are rare in the grand scheme of things. Salutations. All right, how are we going to approach this one? We do have a nice little mantis card. It'd be good if we could deploy it right there. It does require a blood, so let's get the mantis here. Hopefully nothing will come down its lane for a turn or two. And I think that's going to end my turn. I do have one bone, but I need a second one for the sink. Okay, so Mantis will be viable, I guess, one more turn. Um, let's do... Hmm. Thinking Bullfrog, but... How much health does it have? It has two hits, so I could take out the Coyote or the Bullfrog with it. Okay. I think that I'll put it in the bullfrog lane since it's going to take two turns to take out. Okay, there's always a chance that I'll get that uh, moose as well. Alright, stink bug, I think it's going to be up to you to get rid of the coyote. Um, what else should we do? We have a rattler coming down. That's not good. I don't want that adder taking out each of my guys because I think it's a one hit killer. Yep. Alright. Gotta draw a card. This is a tough one. I know I can play the sink bug, so maybe I should draw from here and see. Okay. Let's do this then. And that's going to be the end of my turn, I believe. Okay. Another adder coming down the row. Starting things. We have two rattlers, too. They're so strong. Oof. I don't know. This is feeling bad. What kind of tools do we have over here that we could use? I think I have to draw before I use the tool anyway, so let's do this. Ah, uh, the pack rat. So we can get two items. Random item, as long as your pack's not full. Okay. So perhaps I should use one of these to take out something. We'll use a scissor. We'll get rid of... I think one of the rattlers would be the best bet. Oh, it has to be up here. I guess this is the one. Okay. Maybe in the next turn I'll be able to play the pack rat. Oh, they're gonna overflow me. I think I want to need to use another item. This isn't looking too good otherwise. Okay. Right. Does it do any damage? It does two damage. Getting rid of that rattler would be ideal. Although I could do damage in that direction. Sacrificing two for the pack rat that doesn't sound good enough. I'm going to try tipping the scales. 
Oh. It will earn a point of damage. I don't think you would really do it. So that's where the teeth are coming from. Hmm. Well, that's scary. Well, this is a hard one. Taking two for either of these is just a lot to put out. I think I am going to try putting down the pack rat, though. And we got a squirrel out of that. So, squirrel could be used to block off the worst of the damage for a turn. But that's not going to help much. We'll see how this goes. I think it, this might go to the other guy. We'll have them skip their turn. I wonder if that'll make their... Oh, hey, thanks for following. This has been a very interesting game. It's awesome to have another person to join along on the journey here. Oh, there's a spider over there now. Interesting. So... Let's see. How are we going to stop this? I have just enough I could take out the pack rat and stop the coyote or the adder if I deploy my name card, but... Hmm. They would do three damage and I would do four if I could get it in that lane, so maybe I could fight that way. Uh, they're going to get plus two, though. Hmm. wonder if that was a little bit of a mistake. We'll see. I don't think that I want to win this one, though. Let's just go ahead and roll. I did get the pass. I forgot about that, so that's good. Playing a squirrel immediately isn't going to help. I did get an alpha though. And creatures adjacent to card brain and sigil gain one power. Okay, that may be what I needed actually. And that'll let me do more damage and I can take out um, part of the coyote. I don't think it'll be completely enough, but we'll see. Okay, we turned it around. I really wasn't expecting that, awesome. I was holding my breath for most of the match. <laughs> it's a heart snapper, a near impenetrable fortress, or defense. This is the word fortress into that card. The tragic rat king, when your tangled bodies become corpses, you will gain four bones. Interesting, so that's like a bone generator. Alright, River Snapper. One attack, but six defense. I think I want to go with it. I like having this diverse set of cards. I do wonder what are some optimal paths for this. I used up a lot of items last round, so I think I want to take items. Okay, Harpy's Bird Leg Fan. To the user, your Creatures will attack as though they have the airborne sigil this turn. Hmm. I'm gonna go with goat. So I have some high value ones. And bones are good. I could get a blood off a squirrel, but I'm getting blood off of a goat. I could use a squirrel and goat to get blood quickly though. And I think bones. I just don't see the need for the airborne yet. That said, they'll probably end up making a stage right now that I need the airborne. <laughs> so, okay. Let's see what we have. Grand for Mighty Leap. 
card bearing the sigil will block an imposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. It's like we've seen on the bullfrogs. Kingfisher. Waterborne. Card bearing a sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn while submerged. Opposing creatures attack its owner directly. That's not good. Okay. So the fur is going to help us a little bit with the coyote. We have a kingfisher coming in as well on this side. So how are we going to get rid of all these? Using the ant queen to spawn some ants might be a good idea. Hmm. We do have skinks that we can throw into the mix. Maybe I'll try generating some ants. So I hate to get out of the goat right away. But I think I will. Okay, and let's do with the ant queen. We'll place her over here so she'll be able to have a worker ant right next to it because I'm not exactly sure how we're going to generate um, how we're going to generate the um, power to fight kingfishers like I'm not exactly sure how this waterborne is going to work so we're going to have to see it I think it's the first time they deployed it against me okay Okay, um, well, I think that might be all I can do now without having to sacrifice a card that I just generated, so. Okay, so now they're in the water, and that's going to make them attack me for this turn. I could play an ant, but... I'll give it a power or two, so I'm a little bit worried about doing that. Hmm. But I don't know. Maybe it would be worth it to get them on the board. Because I think it, that implies that I'll be able to attack it the very next turn. So let's just see what happens. I have a total of three hit on me on this one. Okay, well, I guess it didn't matter. I took them out. Having the power of ants really helped. Okay, I think I did this mystery one last time. I kind of like to upgrade a card, so let's try this route. Looks like we have a boss fight coming up to you. Different kind of choice. Choose on a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. Hmm. Let's go to blood. Flatty elk. It moves after attacking. Okay. Random card with a cost of two. What were you expecting? <laughs> I was thinking I'd have to sacrifice a card that had like a similar power or something. Uh, let's do a card upgrade. Okay. Alpha seems pretty cool. I feel the moose bug might be a little hard to get, like, actually going in a fight. Maybe the elk is a little bit more reasonable, because, I mean, this takes three blood, which would be, like, a whole black goat um, but I don't know I have a lot of lower powered cards too maybe letting a bullfrog go to power up something else might be a better idea although is that one of my only airborne protectors I think it is I might pay a price for that 
This is a pretty diverse set though, but maybe letting the elk go, keeping that moose buck. Even though it's a heavy sacrifice, it'd be nice. Well, I could boost up the elk if I sacrifice the buck, moose buck, so I don't know. Let's try that. The choice is yours. Okay. Let's do the elk. Oh, I forgot this was this the sigil thing. Darn it. I thought it was the power up. That's the fire. Well, that was a gaff. <laughs> okay. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. Hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. Kingfisher. Smoke, Bone King. When the card bearing sigil dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. It could be a way to stop um, that lane over there. In fact, I want to go ahead and do it just while we uh, strategize here. Ant Queen and Mantis. be good to save up for her, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and wait. She's kind of situational too. That's my main fear. I'll go ahead and wait a turn. Which fish? Hard to choose. Oh. Hmm. I don't like this. So what is up with this book? Is it gonna grab one of my cards in a minute? Something frustrating like that? Uh oh. I didn't see what he said. Um, let's do, uh, I guess, the Ant Queen. New fish, easy cheese. Okay. He's definitely gonna yank one of these cards away. Take new fish, easy. We'd rather go that route. Okay. We'll get the squirrel card out. I'm just gonna go after them as hard as I can here. Okay, that was an optimal since Mantis should have placed it down there, but I do want to kill this guy diagonally. So let's go. I guess well, I clicked over there. I guess it just did whatever it wanted. <laughs> Mine now, go fish. Uh, well, that is a jerk move. Thankfully, it wasn't a powerful card, though. I think I still have more attack power on the board, ultimately. Maybe I could put the caged wolf down if I can get enough blood. Hmm. Perhaps next turn. Okay, good. That was gonna be tough. Bait buckets. Oh, I guess they're defense cards. Okay. Uh, an 
alpha to I'm gonna put that next to our uh, ant queen right away and I guess it, we'll have to stick with that a great white oh man bait bucket indeed and I took the bait and blood should have been a hint oh that sucks <laughs> Alright, they're waterborne too. Well, I am probably going to see the end of this match really soon. Alright, skink. We'll, we'll sacrifice for the skink, I guess. There we go. And... That's it, I believe. Mm, these great whites are going to take me out. Another bait bucket. Perhaps it'd be worth sacrificing my alpha to put down a cage wolf and get six protection on the next turn. Not positive, but I think I want to try it. So if I flip another bait bucket, I am out. Okay, let's see how this goes. Ooh, I'm done. I suppose we'll have to replay this. I wonder how it's gonna work. Go fish, indeed. I wonder if I'll get my picture taken again. Say there, no need to move. I'm afraid you're not dead yet. Hold still. Hmm, where did I put that camera of mine? Here, I'll help you, buddy. Hmm. Let's see, what did he say? Pathetic, something. Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. We have a memento to create. Behold, your death card. Shall I begin to ink it? Please choose a card to draw the cost from. We'll do possum this time. Cost of two bones from the possum. And now there is some will use its power and health, the numbers. Let's go with Pack Rat. Two power and two health. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Um I'll go with Mantis. Sigil of Bifurcase Strike. I wonder if that'll give it a total power of four. I never did ask your name. Here we go. It's the rank. So I wonder if that replaces my existing card. One thing now remains. Let's capture your Visage. Say cheese. Cheese! I wonder if this is going to take me back any since I failed that boss fight. Are you prepared for what lies ahead? To be impelled on the angler's hook, look like the one who came before. It seems the lowly sink bug has made its way in. But it's dealt, so it stands. Hmm. So let's see, where did I end up? Huh, I'm curious. Can't tell if this took me back or what. No, he may not choose a specific beast. Instead, he must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. Uh, I guess let's go with the birds since we don't really have any birds yet. 
the pernicious vulture, a tyrant of the skies. Eight bones for a turkey vulture. A randomly chosen bird card. Did you wish for something else? Eight bones seems like a lot for that. Three and three. An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully ate out intricate wood carvings and gestured at them brusquely. Choose. Okay, so a sigil. Waterborne does seem kind of powerful. I think I'm going to take it. Uh huh. Old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The waterborne sigil will now be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. Oh, cool. Well, that's great. There's a third talking card around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get, the thing, to get things back to normal. That cage wolf, he had that for a reason. The card seems useless, but I think there's more to it. Ah, uh, I've been wondering about it since it had that fancy scrolly look. Um, thought it sit out. Okay, so all these will be airborne. Maybe we can get that cage wolf down quickly. We'll help him break out. Let's go ahead and do it right off the bat. we go and we don't have enough yet to play the stink bug or actually we do we should have two right let's go ahead and do it masterful okay ah oh, the airborne sigil that's making them attack over uh duh. totally forgot all right, Alpha is going to give power, so how do we get rid of that? Ooh, we should have sacrificed and got the stowed out, but wanted to see what we had here first. Stow has three heart, so I think I'd be best for taking out the Alpha. Okay, don't ring the bell. Don't ring the bell. That's about the best I've got, buddy. Um, you can pull out a tooth. But... Kinda hate to. I think we might need it, though. Okay, let's go. Lost it already. Wow. Jeez. How disappointing. Okay. Oh, what is this thing? This almost looks like a dragon or something. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a lizard, I guess. Watch a bullfrog leaps in the wave. Of attacking flyers. Bullfrog would have been good that last round. I should have been paying more attention. Alright. The bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Oh, it looks like a little snake head. Interesting. And then an airborne sigil and an ant. I think I'm going to go with that instead. Now I get to choose, I guess, which I want to keep or what. There we go. So you get to reassemble. Okay. Ah, uh, so the animal that's on top determines what. I get it now. The old woman collects her pieces and shuffle off into the darkness. That that determines what card it affects, and so this is definitely 
at least appears to be kind of useless with um, scrolls, I'd say, since they don't have attack power, but got it. <laughs> but using them, when a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. I mean, that, that could help, actually. I mean, getting ants. That could help. All right. Sparrows and they're airborne, so I need my bullfrog. There we go. Um, value of percentage will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on this side of the table. Two health, two, and these do one. So maybe attacking it will work out fine. Let's do it. Okay, and we don't have enough for a turkey vulture or really anything else, so let's just see what happens. Okay. Like we need to make way for the stoat. I'm gonna give us another ant as well. So let's do a sacrifice. So we can take the stoat and play it. Bad play. I thought it was a good play. What do you mean? Um, I think we're going to have to kind of stick with this for now. Got to get rid of those sparrows. They're messing us up. Okay. Get a worker ant deployed. Start doing some damage. Plus, if we get rid of the stout, that'd give us three on each of those. If we play this other worker ant, I think it's a win win win. <laughs> There we go. It should help us a little bit. We don't have quite enough yet to get the turkey out, but we'll see. I didn't neglect to mention overkill damage. Excess damage is not wasted. Carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Ah, lucky for you. Well, good. All right. I need to get that wolf out. We'll just play another ant. <laughs> the skunk is knocking down the power on this one. I think I might win this round, actually, now that I have so much power with the ants. Cool. And a ringworm. Underappreciated ringworm. Its value is not readily apparent. Huh. And an adder. Why a ringworm? Well, I'm really curious about that. But I don't see its value quite yet. I think I'll take the adder. I don't think I have one in my deck right now. Okay, so this is the sigil power up, sigil exchange thing. So, what do we want to do? Maybe it would be cool to give the power of the adder to something else that's strong. Maybe the caged wolf. But I bet I should uncage it first. I wonder if it would be a problem if I didn't. Um, now putting it on the turkey vulture sounds pretty wicked. 
but on the stink bug, it'd be stronger than a adder alone. Like one more defense point. This guy has three. So maybe we'll do it like this. Yeah. That adds some strength to it, I think. Let's go this route. I'm not sure what that symbol, mean, symbol means. Oh, it's a sigil fight. That's what it is. Okay. Alright. Let's get some ants going. Coyote and a porcupine. I think that maybe getting this stowed out might be a good idea. Sharp quills. Once a card bearing the sigil strike, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Alright, let's get this stoat going. Yep. And that'll be that. Okay. I think that we're gonna go with a worker ant. So Bullfrog does have 2 HP though, maybe it would be better to go that route. Hmm. Let's just do it. Okay. I could get the worker ant, since this only has one hit point left, and it'll get stronger, so let's just do it. I guess the stoat wasn't the best move to begin with. that coyote is going to be a bit of a bear. Let's try putting a bullfrog down. I know it's going to take the hit still. I could sacrifice out the work grant that's sitting over there. I don't have any items though. Let's do it. Put it over here to have a little bit of protection on our leftmost lane. Okay. It's squirrel time. I'll put a squirrel down and sacrifice it for the ant. Let's see. I don't think we want the coyote running rampant, so this keep giving it blood okay excellent I don't know what's this symbol almost looks like a pokeball with a flame around it ah uh, it's the pelt so that's the trapper okay the first one's free rabbit pelt wolf pelt and a golden pelt That was all my teeth to get that right. Okay. We'll just take it. We'll do it. Alright, another sigil exchange thing. I wonder if you can skip these. Putting stink on another card. That does sound like it could be useful, but this is one of the talkers. I hate to get rid of it. Maybe a bullfrog would be a better idea. An airborne golden pelt. Let's see if it actually does anything. Okay. I forgot what the pelts are for, too. I've only used them at, like one time. I think you trade them, right? For other things. Maybe I'll get a bonus on that trade. Okay. Incessant clink, clink, clinking reverberated between your ears. The path head is blocked by a grotesque figure. Ah, uh, the prospector. So we did restart. Okay. A wolf in a cage. How to break it. Okay. So getting the wolf out does sound like a high order here. 
it's interesting to see the restart mechanism here in place too. Alright. I'd love to get out of the ant to start taking on the pack mule because I know they, it's the main problem here. But uh, let's see. I think we will go ahead and do that. Okay. Here we go. choice but to use the squirrel and bullfrog help us not really I think we're just gonna ant it up again <laughs> I'm starting to have a theme here okay as long as the pack mule is stuck we'll get those items in another two turns too I think Stink bug being played against the Cody isn't a bad idea. So it'll lower it now. We'll be able to take it out. Um, or at least take it down HP. Okay. I guess it's about the best I have right now. Okay. And the pack mule should die on the next turn, which is better than I've been experiencing so far. So let's take another squirrel. Okay, I think we're good. All right. Yeah. Dang, damn it. GG. There's gold in them cards. Guardian, when an opposing creature is placed opposite its face, card brain and sigil will move to that empty space. Okay. We can sacrifice enough squirrels to probably get a turkey vulture. Let's see, I think I have maybe four bones. I don't have to draw anyways. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can definitely do it. Um, I kind of want to do it just for the heck of it. Definitely can't do that yet. Let's see, can you just sacrifice them for bones right away? No, you can't. Okay. I could put some ants in their place at least. Oh, a magpie. Order, when a card bearing is played, you may search your deck for any card and make it into your hand. Okay. Um, we'll do that just for the sake of having it. And I don't mind if it gets killed. Hey, this would be good. Prospector boss again, indeed. Yeah, I don't care about the magpie, so we're gonna do that. We'll get rid of the bloodhound with the death adder ability. Um, we can do another squirrel and sacrifice. Worker ant. We should be able to get the uh, the turkey vulture next turn, I think. Okay, if there is a next turn, we'll see. Here we go. I don't know. I'm gonna be kind of blocked from playing the turkey vulture. Hmm. 
Okay, well I guess I'll keep things as they are. Alright, time for our turkey vulture. Oh yeah. So, I think that's good. Heck yeah. Candles. Yeah, you better jerk. Very well. Let me choose a rare card. Ouroboros. The Eternal Serpent. Death strengthens it forever. Unkillable. When a card brain individual perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. Gek. The uninspiring Gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Strange Larva. A largely unimpressive specimen. I think I want to go with Ouroboros. It just sounds too good to pass. After Harry encounter with the Prospector, you gather yourself and continue onwards. Here we go. Let me see. The air grew thick with moisture. Buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You beheld the wetlands. Let's see what this guy is. Ah, the pelts. Okay. I'm glad I went. Hair pelts. Okay. Let's see what Warren is. Rabbit hole. When the card bearing sigil is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power and one health. Rabbits. I wonder what good those are. Bonghorn. That sounds better than an elk, almost. Attacks in two directions and shifts to the right. Beehive. Bees within. Once a card bearing your sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as one power, one health, and airborne. Hmm. I think I want to go with Pronghorn. Is that a golden pelt? Magnificent. Amalgan. Mantis god. Long elk. The douse. What is this? Bellist. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a chime is created on each adjacent space. A chime is defined as zero power and one health. So I guess that would get you kind of um, protective usefulness. So you could use it like a defense mechanism. Long elk. Touch of death. When a card bearing a sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. Hmm. I like the Mantis God. The Malgan. 3-3. Three, three. And Blood. Two Bloods. It sounds like it could be better than the Mantis God. But it does attack in three directions, but only one hit. I'm gonna go with the Malgan. I need some power in my arsenal. Okay. Need some items, but I think I want to go this way instead. I'm not sure what this symbol is. Ah, the woodcarver. Okay. What can I take? This is unkillable. <laughs> I could use unkillable squirrels. That would be pretty funny. Um, this is fledgling. Card brain. This will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Uh, well, that's interesting. I wonder what would happen with that in squirrels, actually. Maybe that would be a smarter thing to do than the ant. But you know, they do get sacrificed, so I don't know. We'll at least try it out. The ant card was pretty awesome, so we'll see how this works. Okay. What do we want to do? A bullfrog. Let's try putting... We'll just try putting the squirrel down. See what happens with it. So we'll know what that effect is. Ah, one in three. So it actually got some attack power. Well, okay. 
can hold its own against a coyote. That's something, I guess. I totally use squirrels to take out some things. Hmm. I think that it'll have power to resist the bullfrog. I'm not sure. I should have paid attention on the attack order. See what happens. I do need to uncage the wolf though. Hmm. Let's try putting it there. We'll go on. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna have to do this because that adder is gonna be a problem if I don't take it out. I think I might be dead. This isn't looking good. I don't have any items either. All right. Let's see about putting our squirrel over here for a defense. Maybe it'll level up too. I didn't test it a minute ago, so. Oh, there comes the cage wolf. What was that? Okay. Hmm. Go that route. I don't, still don't think we're going to win this. This is looking a little too tough. Hmm. The wolf, I think, will give me enough power to survive this round. I'm not making any forward progress, really. Pronghorn may give me enough. Let's see, one, but it does it in two directions. Maybe it would be worth sacrificing the wolf for that. It's hard to tell. I should have put it over there. That was a mistake. Yep. That'll be the enemy. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll try this. Stink bug. Okay. That gives me a little bit of hope. Alright, we're empty handed now. Let's see. Something that has bones could play, but having a squirrel would definitely play somewhere, so. Yes, I think you got me this time. Okay, good. Alright, the trapper or cards. Yes, we'll go trap her. Have a free one. We only have one tooth, looks like. Yeah, we don't have enough to get a golden pelt, so maybe we should walk away. Can we walk away? Looks like you can't. Looks like you have to buy something. Hmm, okay. Well, I guess I just had to do it. Ah, oh, I could have clicked that maybe to get away. Darn. I should have saved that for the gold pelt. Oh well, lesson learned. 
Okay, I feel I need items more than I do uh, whatever that was, the sacrifice thing. And I want to do the black goat route so that maybe I can play something a little bit stronger. Okay. He's pulling that gets us weight on the scales. I think we'll do that. Oh, oh no, you can't use that. What is this? Failure to the user, nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. Um, I'm thinking there's something there, so we'll take it. Okay. Now, what can we do? We have bees coming in. I think that I could send a squirrel out there. Take on a bee. And we'll do it. There we go. And let's see. <laughs> I kind of want to see if I can have a squirrel victory here. Let's use this guy. Oh, I'm serious. He cannot use that. There's no possible use for it. I'll place it on that shelf over there for now. My advice, avoid it. Uh, it's going to be key to solving a puzzle of some sort, I'm guessing. All right. Belts. This will ring the bell. Okay, good. Squirrel army is working out. Though I do kind of want to sacrifice them for something else. The mantis is going to come in and take out... Oh, Elder Squirrel. <laughs> Just notice that. Alright. Um, I do have to draw a card either way, so maybe we'll get another squirrel. I could sacrifice this one since the mantis is going to come in and be a problem anyways, and play a bullfrog. I think I'll... I think I'll do that. That'll also clear off one of the lanes from the uh, airborne. You know, it would have been smarter to go one over, I bet, because that mantis is going to be the problem. Duh. Oh, wow. I lost... Jeez. That hit me harder than I thought. Okay. Rattler takes six bones. Has three attack. River Otter is waterborne. River Snapper. I don't think I've taken one of those yet, so we'll take it. Alright. Campfire is the power up one. I've been wanting to do that for a little while. Warm light of campfires, welcome sight. The, the ten hungry eyes are on it, dampen the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire, enhance its power, said one. Alright. How about the river snapper? It'll give it some longevity. Survivors are right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's power. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with the river snapper. Later, suckers. Alright, a sigil fight. Stink bucks on the birds. And I have the uh, squirrel of powers. Hmm. Maybe I should try to get this stowed out there. I don't know. I think I'll keep it like that. We'll do the stowed in the next round. Oh, I thought it was going to mature. Darn it. I'm already off to a bad start. 
Yep. Okay. Well, that's bad. I'm already out. Jeez. Wow. Restart again. I think I'll play a few more rounds, but that's not good. I think I made my biggest mistake switching out my uh, sigil from that cool um, you know, ant sigil. So, I did get a new item. Please try to remain alive for just a short while longer. I like a moment memento. Death card. Let us begin. Choose card to draw the cost from. Cost of nothing from a rabbit pelt. We're going to try that. Cost of free. Yeah, there we go. And now there is someone who uses the power in its health. Um, how about the amalgam? Sweet. Now choose card from which we will extract the sigils. Ouroboros. That's it. Oh wow, this is going to be a powerful card, I think. Hopefully I'll get that in a few hands. Getting to play it for free and it travels around and has... Or not travels around, but it has Ouroboros. Like, oh man. I'm hyped now. Fresh blood. Perhaps yours will make it farther from the foot of a totem. Knock on wood. Alright, here's my starting deck. Alright, let's back up and see about that goo thing. Arg! The pain is unbearable, even after all these years. What do you want? I have very little to live for these days. The cage has been broken. The little statue is free. Leave us the step toward freeing the master. Arg. Arg, arg, arg. Arg of the agony. Arg. Arg of the agony. Let's see, is he gonna do anything? But no, looks like no. Um. Oh! There's the wolf. Okay. I guess I need to put it next to the squirrel, eh? I finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel that you may wish that you hadn't. May that dagger find its mark. You must be brave. Hmm. Let's see, I feel like there could be somewhere to use it in here. But I'm not seeing anything immediately at least. You're wondering about that painting. I've seen stuff come out of it. Erg. But only if the cards are aligned just right. Hmm. You're still curious. First step would be getting those cards in your deck. Ah, Squirrel and Rattler. Okay. Erg. I know I've seen things coming out of that painting. The cards are placed just so. Okay. We don't know about that one yet. Okay, well I have a dagger, but I don't see an immediate use to it. Alright, let's see what's over here. Forget what this one means. Oh yeah, a cost. Let's go with a two cost. The Rat King, okay. And a sigil. Oh, what is this? What is this card? Am I your choice? I don't remember seeing that thing. It's, it looks like a stink bug, but with like a face added to it. Um, I want to send the Rat King on, and maybe getting the four bones off of something cheaper would be cool. Hmm. 
maybe a bullfrog would be a good idea. Okay. Lucky draw. Dagger, special dagger to use or you will place a weight on the scales that pain is temporary. Interesting. Okay. So... I wonder if that takes me out or something or takes them out. Maybe I'll save it for the boss fight, the one that I missed after the prospector. Well... Hmm. Got a porcupine and coyote and a boulder. What do we want to throw down? Maybe it would be good to get a start with the bullfrog. Here we go. At least it shielded me from the coyotes onslaught. There we go. And that's it. Circling, cycling through because we're going to need to fight that porcupine soon. Scoop. Alright. Good. Alright. So, let's see what's over here. Came across a hobbled man standing beside some boulders. He caught me off guard. Not supposed to see me until further down the road. Say, I like the gamble. If you can pick a boulder that has gold in it, you can keep it. Show me where to strike. We'll just go left. Cockroach. Dagnabbit. No gold. That is a funny looking varmint. Keep it. This looks like a powerful one. Has both bones and Ouroboros. Well, that's pretty wicked. And we can power something up already. Plus two on the health. Warm a creature by the fire. Enhance its health. Alright, who am I going to do? I don't want to do cockroach. The bullfrog might be pretty wild. Um, <laughs> literally, um. And a wolf. Maybe powering up the wolf would be wicked. Yeah. Fire one the weary wolf. Enhance its health. He suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. With your wolf and tail, you retreat into the woods. Okay. Nice. Wolf cub. I think that we're going to just take... Let's see, we could get it stowed out, but... kind of like to get that wolf going. I don't know. We'll go ahead and do it. We need something to counter that wolf cub to be in with anyways. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Another wolf cub. We will lay down enough to get our wolf. A cockroach. We should have enough for it in another turn, I think. There we go. Oh, we need to draw first. Okay. It's funny that the stink bug looks like it's more human now or something. Yeah, we got the cockroach back in our hand. Masterful. We don't have enough 
bones to play that other one yet. There we go. Okay. Well, the trapper would give us a pelt, and then we could do a power up. Let's see. I think it, that might be the better out of the two. I'm not sure if I have quite enough teeth. We'll see. And we'll find better pelts than 100 miles on the house. Okay, I don't think we have enough to get that. Okay, we'll just take what we have. Power up time. Oh, we only have one choice. Okay. Um, could have a stinky stove. <laughs> Another sigil, hooray. Okay. Porcupine and coyotes. Dang old mean porcupine. I think that we'll go after it with a bullfrog. Here we go. And we'll save up bones for the cockroach. I just realized the cockroach takes four bones, outputs bones. I guess you get a, an attack and a defense out of it though, but that is kind of funny how that one works. Okay. I still don't have quite enough to go after the Cody, so I think it, well, I could put down the squirrel Maybe that would be best. I need to send something after the coyote pretty badly. Okay, do I have enough for the cockroach? Not yet. Alright, now I have a way to use that guy. All right, and I think that might be it for the moment. I do want to use this for a little bit of an advantage. And that might be it. Okay, I do have enough for another cockroach. So that's excellent. I think we'll drag this one out. Okay. Good. Only one direction. Let's do a single ringworm. That might be the first time I've had it in my deck. I refused it earlier. We're back to the prospector. Mm, I'm in a boulder. We'll try it. How about bones? I think this could be good against the prospector. Chill mist closing around you. We're not alone. Bigger merchant the fog. Oh, it was the prospector. Surprise. Saying, way on me gold, be darned. <laughs> All right. Gotta get rid of the pack mule. We know the name of the game with this one. Let's see, what is this one for again? Bone, yeah. I think it, putting it there would be a good start. And we don't have quite enough to get rid of everything on ringworm. I'm curious about how that's gonna play. Getting some bone generation on the bullfrog might be a good idea, so. Let's see, let's go ahead and do it. Okay. Okay. And 
we're gonna need squirrel. I think there's no way around that. Um, I could get the wolf down and take out the pack mule in two turns. So I think that that could be an ideal thing to do. So I do know that the prospector is gonna take them out, unfortunately. Ringworm, nothing to do there. We'll play the ringworm, see what happens. Good, now I'm flush. My mule in her pack. Alright, we got a cat too, and a beaver. Well, that's an angry beaver, look at that. Dam builder, when a card bearing this sigil is played, a dam is created on each empty adjacent space. A dam is defined as zero power, two health. That could help protect against the coyote while we're rallying up the troops. Maybe we'll go ahead and do that. The cat looks pretty weak, but does have many lives. Okay. There we go. Turkey vulture. And we have a formidable offense comment by the other guy. Alright, let's just see what happens. Maybe we can play the turkey vulture um, here in a moment. Kind of like to save it for the second candle, though. Yeah, I better save it for the second candle or else I'm going to hurt myself pretty badly, I think. Let's send the kitty cat out. Okay. Should have saved the cat. Alright, there goes my things. At least I'm getting bones for the turkey. And I have space for it too. Let's do it this route. Okay, and that's it. Oh, a rabbit pelt and a squirrel. Oh boy. Here we go. Quick work. Need a light? Alright, I'm gonna try my darndest to get to the second boss because I'm really eager to try to beat it. So we'll keep this streaming going. Star Wars Mole Man, the ultimate defense. Let's see, what are these sigils? Brewer, when an empty space would be struck, card bearing a sigil will move to that space to receive a strike instead. Oh, that's awesome. Strange larva and the rally. That takes four. Let's see, let's read this one again. Empty space. Yeah, we're taking the mole man. That sounds awesome. Alright, we got past the prospector. I'm going to skip a text. Now we're in the wetlands, and I think I'm just going to skip the text. We've seen that several times. Um, getting autumns, visiting. I think that's the pelt collector, right? Um, well, actually, that might be it over there to the left, so I think the left path might be my best route. Um, let's see. I did like the adder, or the mantis a good bit, and if I could power it up, that'd be really nice. So I think I'm going to go with it. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to get any items. Hmm. Not items you can carry three, and you have three. Said perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend. Oh, the pack rat. Pack rat, always useful. Okay. Sigil fight, that's what those are. Always get them confused for some reason. Alright. I guess I haven't collected a sigil set up for this one yet. Sharp quills. Let's see what animal is this bees that he has on top? Yep. Well, that's gonna be tough. Alright. I 
let's give Lum and Boulder to attack. And that will stave them off for a little bit. Well, I'll build a bullfrog army or something. We'll put her there. Okay. Now, that's not looking good. Let's see about, oh, I don't need bones. Let's just see how this next round goes. Oh, the mantis attack is coming in too. Oof. The mole man. <laughs> well, not looking too good. Let's try using this. Tip the scales. Oh. Attack my eyeballs. Okay then. Let's uh, try the mole man then. <laughs> okay. That shocked me a little. Neat meddlesome mole. <laughs> hey, it did a good job protecting me though. I think I'm gonna have to do this route. The stoat. Good. And I've got some power on it too. I could help take out something. Um, what would be our options? Getting rid of the mole man. I think it may have outlived its usefulness at this point. That mantis is going to do two attack though, so I want to put it over here. Okay. All right. What else can we do? Uh, mantis, good. I think having it would help take out the bees. So let's do it. Okay. Ah, oh, the quills. I forgot about those. Darn it. I think that they may end up winning this one. This one's tough with the quills. Too tough. I think using the dagger may have prevented me from using my other items too. Ah, wolf. That's not ideal. Ah, they are over there. Okay. But I can't really play much of anything. Hmm. Well, this might be the end. Let's just see what happens. Well, the wolf would let me pierce through on. I guess we'll try doing sacrifice so that we can get our wolf guy going. Taking out the worker ant. It has attack of zero, so maybe getting rid of the bees would be a smarter thing. Overall, my attack power will be higher, so let's just go. Let's go. Yep, not enough. Shoot. When will a worthy challenger appear? Believe it or not, you're not the first losing eye here. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. Oh. Interesting. I wonder if these have different powers. This one looks interesting. Uh, find salvation in the cuckoo clock. Better? Regardless, the choice is final. All right, let's go see if we can do something with the clock now. Ah. Uh, huh. How do we get this 
other one in the turn. Okay. There we go. Let's see now. Stunted wolf. Take the film roll before he sees it now. What are you doing here? Turn to face me. What are you up to over there? Um, nothing, buddy. Okay, so now we have a film roll. Take a picture, it will last longer. <laughs> um, looks like a one. Keep sealed. Could it be? We have the master's eye. Does this mean the master can see me? Magnificus. Can you see me? Can you free me? Arg is done. The master is free. Oh, the end must be close now. Magnificus is free. It must be close. Oh, you. Let's see. I clicked twice accidentally. I'm waiting for Twitch to catch up. Ah, uh, what did it say? Something up your sleeve. It looked like. If you're not, I won't blow your cover. You just need to get a hold of that camera of his. Maybe if you defeat him, you would get a chance. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe the next time I die, I'll be able to use the film. More teeth. Good. Always gotta look out for those. Okay. Well, let's get back in. What did it go this route? So let's go. Alright, the pelt dealer. Alright. So I'm thinking Tricky Vulture has a high cost. What is this one? The value represented something. Hmm. We'll take it because it looks mysterious. Okay, a power up. Wonder, I don't think giving the mole man's power to something really helps. But I could see giving the mantis power to somebody else being awesome. Like the wolf. The ham. This looks kind of like a. I can't remember if it says a wolf or what it was. Single. I think this is going to be the best route. Let's do it. Okay. Determined to get back to that um, angler. Oh, to thank you. How has it been? It has been quite bad. I am trapped in the body of a stoat, in the paper of a card. I see that. And I have, of course, set up a way to reset once more. Go on. Our player friend here, they already hold the key. The stoat is looking kind of like a robot or something. Appearance keeps changing. The ringworm, bullfrog. And work rant. That's an interesting play. Hmm. I feel like just sending the stoat on out because it has stink on it too, so that'll neuter the bullfrog and his attack power. So let's do it. Back on the board. That's right. Better get used to it. if it's trying to do a work rant rush on me so I'm gonna take out the stunted wolf there we go here we are says the wolf and I think this is good to go okay 
moment requires a sacrifice, so we're going to put it out for some defensive help. Okay. Kind of has a little bit of a big chungus look to it. <laughs> Okay. Ah, oh, the ringworm. Dang it. That's not good. Too bad I don't have something needing bone. And a bullfrog. Well, those worker ants are definitely tough on me right now. It might be a good idea to get over there and get it in case he tries deploying another one. There we go. And I don't see any need to deploy the ringworm. I think we might lose this one. Yep. Well, geez. I guess I can try using the camera. What a shame. Death card, beautiful. That could use some detail. Never even got to use it this time. We'll draw the cost from, I guess, the mole man. Um, so I want to use that mysterious card. If we get to retain it, I don't think we do. And now there is time we'll use its power and health, the numbers. Yeah, three and four. And card from which we'll extract the sigils. Cockroach. Sigil of Bone King and Unkillable. Okay. Okay. Now hopefully I'll get to use the camera against them. Any good card has a portrait. Oh, didn't get to take it. I guess that, that'll take some other time. Alright, this game's too addicting. I think I want to keep going. I had such high hopes for that last one. Why do I bother trying to teach you? You you will learn as we go, or you will die. What are you looking at? Keep your eyes on me. That foul, stunted wolf? You really want such a creature in your deck? Its face is different. The side of it does try my temper, but it has been dealt. So it stands. Okay, here we go. Alright. Forget what this one is. Let's double check. Oh yeah, picking a type. We'll go with the prong. Yeah. Sissy pronghorn would be to those that meet the end of its antlers. Okay. And keep going. Boulder, black goat. And a teeth pull. We're going with Boulder. Get us some defense. Okay. I'm going to go with the fight because we have a campfire that way. You took the film roll. Is that correct? My plan nears its moment of truth, but you must beat him first. So you found the stunted wolf. I've seen this play out enough times to know that a plan is in motion. Make haste. So that's why we got them in our hand this time, so we could have some good dialogue. Pronghorn would be most effective, I think, right there. If we could get two sacrifices going. So let's get a squirrel out. We're going to hit them hard from the get-go. There we go. And we have bone for the stink bug. So we're going to send it out here. Okay. Good. And the pronghorn avoided that attack too. Perfect. I think it we're on a good path. Oh, gotta draw. 
Yeah. We'll get our sun and wolf out on the board too. Are you sure? I am sure. There we go. Ah, the stone is out again. Okay. We did it. Over to the trapper, I believe. Let's see how many we have. Only one. I think we lose our teeth each time we die, so. Yep, that's the best we're gonna have for now. Alright, power something up. Plus two health. We have food, one said. Perhaps one of your creatures will join us and enhance its health, said another. Hmm. Well. Stunning wolf attacking for a long time sounds pretty good. The dynamicness of the pronghorn having five, though, health. But it has a cost of two. Hmm. Maybe we'll go with the wolf. You had an idea. Why not warm your creature by the fire for just a moment longer? One of the starving survivors took a step closer. This would be risky. Push your luck or pull away. Let's push our luck. Alright, luck is on your side. Perhaps one more moment. We sense the risk was now even greater. Let's run back. Survivors are right about the flames. We can enhance the creature's health. Spotting a few of the survivors drilling, you made a hasty retreat. I'll be through wolf. Alright. We meet again. Well, that was awesome. I think that we could put the boulder down to uh, interfere with our porcupine friend. And we will seek out the stunned wolf on the coyote. Use me wisely. Oh, we will. Careful now. And the stink bug. Nice. Good lord. <laughs> okay. Be time to break out the bullfrog. I think we'll just keep going. I'm not sure how it's going to be possible for uh, the guy to win this one. Yeah, now I have a pronghorn too. Like, I think it, this one's in the bag. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, well, that was fast. Dauntless Bloodhound. They leap to oppose new creatures when they are played. And the Bullfrog. Yeah, we're getting the Bloodhound. This will be our first time. Okay, the Sigil. What do we want to do? Sacrifice a bloodhound and put it on the prong, pronghorn. That would be kind of funny. Or putting the moves of the pronghorn on the bloodhound might be better. It does have more attack power. Oh, that's awesome. I think it will do it. Um, or putting those powers on our high power dude, it's gonna be a tank. We'll do it. Hope that also get a taste of my my glory. Okay. For now it's a sigil fight. So airborne crows. Okay, let me think for a minute. Okay, Stowed is saying me again. 
What do we want to put out? The fur is going to protect me a little bit from the airborne. We have a sparrow to contend with. And boulder over there. It would be nice to free up that lane quickly if we could. It's going to take two to sacrifice. Now, using the eye. Um, I don't think it's warranted quite yet. We'll wait and see for a moment. Um, I guess getting the stood out to attack a sparrow may be our best idea for the moment. Bad play. I oh, know. It's not the best. But we gotta get rid of that sparrow. Okay. Scroll time. I'd like to get the bloodhound out, actually. Maybe it would be worth sacrificing the stoat for it. And we could put the stink bug down too. Okay. Well, what else can we do? All right, good. This is exactly what we needed. Alas. Hmm. I think I am going to have to use this to be able to win, though. That's an ideal, but I think I needed it. Okay. Maybe I didn't. I was a little bit worried that it was going to be just off enough to fall apart. You know which one I want to get. Okay. And we'll go this route. Let's do a three cost. Ah, oh, the moose buck. Welcome back. And we'll do a card upgrade. Sigil swap is okay, but I'd rather do the upgrade, I think. Buckling fire, let the starving faces of your survivors. We have not food, one said. Perhaps one of your creatures will join us. Alright. Who could I make more relevant? Let's see, this looks like it has nothing. Oh, maybe I'll... Oh, it has a seven. Okay. Couldn't quite tell the effects going on with the right eyeball. Hmm. I think maybe the stink bug would be a good idea. Surely your creature could become more powerful. We would need to risk another moment by the fire. Ah, uh, we'll risk it. Okay, you're feeling like perhaps you would chance another moment. And that's the survivor gripping their spear with a disturbing intensity. Wish your luck further or run back. We're gonna run back. Fire warned. Warmed this where you sink bug enhanced its health. I suspect the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. Sneak bug and tow. You returned into the woods. Alright, boss fight time. Past a massive empty bowl. Surrounded by heaps of unidentifiable giblets, giblets and scantlings. Seeing the bowl is designed for a dog. What earthly hound would require a mill of that size? Where's that hound of mine? Hmm, this feels like a variation or something. We'll definitely put this guy down early on. Well, I took his bloodhound, that's why he can't find him. Okay. I should have done this a bit differently. Too bad I can't get a redo. Um, I didn't want the Senator Wolf to 
go in, but maybe it'll be okay. We'll, we'll try. I must trust you. Okay. There we go. This will work out in the end. We'll go ahead and... Well, I don't want to play the hound quite yet. We got our wolf doing some good work. Easy boss, just pop that mule. We know. Okay. Let's see. We could play the stoat here. I think that'll be a good position for it. Nice. Unfortunately, we're going to lose these guys, but I think we have enough in our deck that it won't be the end of things. Still had the Bloodhound after all. But I can't make two sacrifices for it yet. There we go. I think that Bloodhound is going to be the one that makes the most, so. My dog versus your dog. Alright. Gotta get rid of that pack mule still. We'll play our bullfrog just to get something going. He's going to take it out, but. Yeah, there we go. Lucky draw, indeed. Well, I... This is a hard pick. I guess we'll go with the... Yeah, there we go. So you have to sacrifice three to get that. Could it be worth it? This will be my only card though. Three power, seven health. Adder. If I put it in the middle, I think it'll be safe. Okay. Yeah, and I don't have to do much damage either, so let's do it. This will be my first time in deploying it, so it'll be fun. Okay. Good. Lazarus sword. Let's see what we get this time. Gek, Mole Man, and the Long Elk have no words for this freak of nature. Touch of death. When a card bearing a citadel damages another creature, that creature perishes. Yeah, we're doing it. That sounds too good to pass. Wiping the dust from your trousers, you return to your journey. Hmm. Oh yes, I know. Tepid water flooded your from your boots. Flies swarmed around you. It entered the wetlands. Okay, I think I'm gonna pause there and go ahead and call it a stream because I have about two hours in, and while I could keep playing, it is uh, been a nice long run. If I were you, I'd leave it alone. Unless you can place those cards exactly right. Still don't know what's going on with that. Um, oh, I see. We had to get the moose back in the left and the squirrel and a squirrel next to it. Okay. I see what the game is now. While we're actually doing a fight. Okay. But, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and roll credits and say this has been S tier rank. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S tier rank. And I will have a replay of today's stream up on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good one.